The shuttle Atlantis is on the launch pad, and everything looks good for Friday's scheduled evening liftoff. On Tuesday, NASA test director Steve Payne briefed reporters at the Kennedy Space Center. Our systems right now are in great shape. We're tracking no constraints that are showstoppers. Uh, the teams are ready, and everybody's eager to launch. Atlantis was scheduled to fly in mid-March, but a freak hailstorm left thousands of pits on the external fuel tank, delaying that space flight. NASA weather officer Kathy Winter says there is a 30 percent chance weather could interfere with this week's launch. So for the coast here, the weather um, looks uh, reasonably uh, promising for launch. Well, we do expect to see some afternoon thunderstorms in the area on launch day, but by launch time, all that weather should move inland with the sea breeze. Commander Rick Sturko and the rest of his crew arrived at the NASA Space Center in Florida on Monday. And, uh, if you can just get some weather like this for us on Friday uh, evening, uh, we'll really appreciate that too. The uh, crew is very excited to be in Florida. We spent a long time training for this mission. We just flew by the uh, launch pad uh, 39 Alpha on our way in here. It looks great. This is scheduled as an 11-day mission. The seven spacemen plan to install a third pair of solar wings and another large module to the International Space Station. There will be three, possibly four, spacewalks, and astronaut Sunita Suni Williams will be replaced as a crew member on the station by flight engineer Clayton Anderson. This is the 21st NASA mission to the International Space Station. Three more are scheduled for this year. Paul Sisko, VOA News. Four to five seconds in advance. This is just a reminder.